Now, all the enemies of America, they knew what the weakness of America is. When Trump, he lost the election, Erdogan, he sent a letter to Joe Biden a week after saying that all Trump supporters are KKK. A week before, he was kissing the ass of a Trump. They knew the weakness. So now we have two parties, they are in enmity, and those Biden is dividing them. He started calling those who support Trump terrorists. Yet he claimed to be the president to unite America. But yet he called more than 70 millions who vote for Trump terrorists, literally. So the Muslims, they took advantage of that. They knew now how we can... Remember we spoke yesterday about divide and conquer? You remember we said to you, we Christians should be united? Your enemies knows how to use your weakness. They are looking for the spot where you are, where it hurt most. This country is very much divided. And that will make this country is very much weak. And this is why Hamas is able to mobilize all those socialists, stupid socialists, to work for them for free. Hamas is not alone. The terrorist of Hamas is working with the massive power of the socialists in Europe, in America, lesbian, gays, LGBT, they are using everybody. And there is a machine behind all of this. And I'm sure the high intelligence in this country, they knew what's going on. Who's behind this? Do you think when all those socialists organized to block the bridges in San Francisco, in Boston, in Houston, in the same day, it happened like just one of them, he said, let's block the bridges? Something big is happening. They are able to mobilize your kids against you. And one of the biggest reasons, because we as adults, we are just leaving our kids to schools and schools run by socialists. And the socialists will poison their head that those Palestinians, are their land is taken from them. Those Jews are racist. They build wars in the walls and fences like in South Africa, the white and the black. And they will tell them that the Israeli are, are white and those... Uh, uh, Gaza people are black and they are African and all the madness. And then your child who is a teenage, he will believe them. You will see a Jew, a Jew. Thousands of Jews in Washington, D.C. striking in the street pro-Palestine. Jews. So do you see how massive the machine is? To the point they were able to mobilize the Jews against the Jews. This is what we are trying to do here. So we can warn people about what's going on. But as you see, the big machine is so big. Like this guy Morgan, you will notice he is helping to spread the propaganda of those terrorists. Trucker Carson, Morgan, and all the scam back in the media, who they are very famous, and the stupid, many stupid who so-called Christian, they think that those are conservative Christians, when the fact they are supporting terrorism. When in fact, they support the enemies. But the second you say Trucker Carson, people, they will say, oh, this is the guy. He's the only one say the truth. He's the only one say the truth. If there is one truthful thing he said, anyone can remind me of one truthful thing he said, Trucker Carson? The reason they are the enemy of Russia because Russia is the only Christian country. Now, Putin is the only Christian country. Is that because he sent the Muslim army to kill the Christians in Ukraine? Christian country? 
Is that because they have a web camera business in, in Russia and women, they are opening their legs in the front of cameras? When the last time you heard that this Christian country is arresting people for porn? Putin is a Christian country? KGB guy? And who is attacking who? So, a person, he is famous, he claimed to be a journalist, but all his journalism is vandalism. He just changed the title. I can change the news by changing the title. Let us say Christian Prince driving his car. He hit a man in the street. I can say a person, his name is etc. He hit a person in the highway. Or I can say a Middle Eastern Arab hit an American. Will both news are true? Both news is true. But one title changed the whole idea of what happened. One is just a normal person driving in the highway, he hit other person, which something happened every day. But if you say an Arab Middle Eastern driving his car, he hit an American, now we change the story. Even though, by the way, he did not lie. He just made a new title. Do you understand? Somebody saying, CP, do you know that uh, Putin, he wanted to join the NATO in the beginning? Okay, let us say that Putin, he wanted to join the NATO and they don't want him. Is that a reason to attack Ukraine? And just to show you that all this excuse is false. Isn't it Putin now so friendly with Erdogan? Isn't it Erdogan is the center of the NATO now? Isn't it America have more than 100 nukes in Turkey? How come Putin is so close to Erdogan and he bring him to, uh, uh, to Crimea and he built a big mosque and he invite Erdogan to cut the silk? So how come the NATO is his friend when it's come to Turkey, the NATO is his enemy when it's come to Ukraine? Do we have a brain? Do we?